Aw, oh, nasty. What the hell? That does not look very good.
Hi, so I wasn't going to do a video on my differential service that I was going to do today because I've already covered that in a previous video. But um, as you saw, uh, my vehicle had 20,000 miles. I do nothing but tow a trailer. <clears throat> and uh, when I changed the differential fluid, it was really dirty. It was already black. The severe service schedule states that it needs to be changed uh, every 20,000 miles, which they were absolutely right when you're doing heavy duty service. Um, I wasn't going to do a video, I've hit 40,000 miles, but the fluid is so incredible that I have to show you. i got to I got to do a video about it. So, um, I'm going to be able to extend my service interval, and uh, I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm very impressed. Um, there's not a lot of fluid left, this thing only holds three quarts. Um, so I'll show you what I'm doing and using, and go out there, and I'm, I'm really happy. So, um... This is what I'm using in my differential. Uh, you saw in the last video, this uh, Lucas Heavy Duty Oil Stabilizer. I've done this in every vehicle I've owned, every heavy duty truck or little truck or car. Uh, this is not the synthetic. Uh, this is what you use in your engine. Don't use this in your engine. Use this in your engine. <clears throat> and then these right here. Uh, these you can just get at Walmart. They're like 11 bucks each. They are full synthetic. Uh, this Supertech is a good brand. I've used the hell out of it. Uh, it's one of my top brands. So um, I'm going to show you what the benefit is, is and what this does. I mean, nothing prevents uh, gear wear to wear than this right here. Um, so this is what we use on our trailers. Everybody does. Uh, we've all determined that this right here is the best for our trailers. We get a lot of life in our trailers. Uh, this right here, this will be going in my ZF 8-speed transmission. This is not the uh, the nasty thick kind. This is the new kind that they have. Um, this is what I put in my fuel. I mean, I am a Lucas guy. I love Lucas because I don't break down when I use Lucas. Uh, I've got tons of stories about it, but... Let's go outside to the oil, the differential, and I'll show you that. And yeah, there's my nasty air filter. This is just 10,000 miles. I replaced it at 30,000. Yeah. yeah, you got to change your air filter every 10,000 miles on this truck. Yeah, look at that. These things suck. Let me grab my tripod. Bear with me a second, I'm just uh, setting this thing up. All right. I'm only doing this because I'm so happy with the outcome. I didn't think it'd be this good. So I'm going to extend my service interval on this component as well, beyond the factory spec, and you will see why. Uh, let's get a good clean shot here. Alright, there's not a lot of oil left, but you'll be able to see it. Yeah, look at that. So the last video... You see how clear that is? Yeah, I don't need to drain it. This is a waste of money. Um, but I'm not happy with the factory fills that uh, Chrysler has been doing. Um, I changed my transfer case at 30,000 miles and it was dirty. It was already turning black. Um, I did put a bottle of that Lucas transmission additive that you saw, the little bottle in there. Um, so I'm going to check it. It only holds one quart. Uh, this only holds three quarts. So one whole bottle of Lucas, the two bottles of the 75-140 full synthetic go in there. Obviously you can see I do nothing but tow a trailer. Look at that. That's brand new fluid. That's This is a waste of money. You don't need to change the fluid. So I, I bet you I could get at, at least 40,000 miles on it. At least. 
I've never seen gear oil that clean. Um, so if you basically, the thing is, if you use Lucas, then you can extend your drain interval on your differential. And this is, I do nothing but tow. I got a trailer on this truck every single night. So I'm very happy and I'm sharing that with you. So enjoy it.